If you're someone who goes to the grocery store and you realize that your shopping list is sitting on your kitchen counter, then you're gonna need this time-saving app that has completely simplified my life. It makes it super easy when I'm out doing errands or if I'm going grocery shopping. Hey my friends, I'm Sherry Borsheim and I'm here to help you declutter, simplify and organize your life, your workspace and your home with some really simple, easy organizing tips. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite app that I use every single day. How you can share your shopping lists, your errands, some of your to-dos and easily delegate them to someone else. I'd say about 80% of the grocery shopping, I don't even do that anymore. My husband does that because we were able to share our grocery shopping list. You can also take notes on this app and you can use it for packing checklists. I'm gonna show you some really fun ways that are easy to use, get it out of your head and into a safe place. I've tested a lot of apps on my phone over the years and the reason why we stick with this app is because it's simple to use, it works on any device, and it's really easy to add items to it. I will show you how I set that all up. This is inside of Google Keep. What I recommend is you can create shopping lists based on the stores that you frequent on an ongoing basis. What I did is I called it grocery list, so it doesn't matter what grocery store I go to unless there's something, but I kept grocery list, our Costco shopping list. I have one for garden center and indoor plants. I have office supplies, drugstore, travel checklist for business. I also have a travel checklist for personal. And you can also see I have one called errands for the week house to do's. This is a project that I'm working on and I'm sharing with that particular client. And then I also kept a little note here where it's for my printer toner cartridges and then items I may want to buy someday. I keep all my gift ideas here. House renovations. I've got Home Depot shopping list or you could call it hardware store. And then I have Christmas gifts to buy and then just a few other things. So you can keep notes in here as well and you can see that I've added checklists. So we'll just go into the grocery shopping list and you can see I've added photos. There's some specific brands that I like and I always seem to buy the wrong orange juice for my husband and I literally check this all the time. He wants this brand with no pulp and so we just keep those pictures in there and we can delete them if we want to and a specific type of almond milk that I like and the dish soap. You can see here I've added the grocery items for the week and all you need to do is you can edit it, you can change colors, you can add a background. This is where you can collab with somebody so I share these with my husband Glenn as you can see here, I've added check boxes. So as we buy the items at the grocery store, we can check them off. And also if you just drag this, you can move them around. So if you wanna have all your produce together, your dairy together, different sections, I've got some herbs that I wanna buy so you can organize them. And it just makes it super easy and these are just fun little icons emojis that you can add if you want to and I just do that all from my phone. It's very seldom that I actually come into the desktop version but for the, this video I'm showing that for you. What's really cool is when you want to type something and let's say we buy cheddar cheese and you can see that it has a memory so if there's some particular brand that you use on an ongoing basis it will remember that and you simply just don't even have to type the whole word. So that's really handy. You can see here our Costco shopping list and it's springtime and I've been taking photos of the pots that I want to get my herb garden going and I want to do some edible flowers. You'll notice here there's an indentation. All you need to do, I do capital letters and that just shows sort of a section header. It just is easier for me to uh, see it when I have a long list. 
So right here I have backyard, which is shade and sun. I have under our maple tree, it's shade. And then the sunny part is six hours because sometimes the garden center is asking me when I'm looking for specific plants that I want to put under there. So this is a plan I have for this spring. I want to get my herbs going really soon. And all you do is you can just click here and you just drag it in and it will move it forward. So these little dots, you can move these around and you can indent them a little bit if you wanted to. And you'll see down here, I just have this my upcoming shopping list and I have my office supply list. Again, items, errands. I have a simple little list that I've used, errands that I want to do this week. I don't want to, I use a sauna, but I like Google Keep for just those quick actions, reminders that I want to give myself and I don't want to clog up my calendar. And so I put them all into Google Keep and I check this once a week. And if there's some items down here where I've add hyperlinks, these are not things that I want to buy right away, but if I do find them, I can go to those websites. Now you'll see here I had something if I'm at the gourmet warehouse, I literally could search my whole entire list if I wanted and it will come up. And I know that there's something in here for that particular store and there also was in this list as well. So that's how you can do a search. I've also added reminders. So you'll see here this as groceries. I've added reminders. You can go here. Let's just say you want to have a reminder to do this tomorrow or next week, or maybe it's a specific date and time. You can also pick a place and type in a location. So when you're in the vicinity, it will uh, pop up on your phone, which is cool. I've also added labels. You can see here I have added business. So for blue, I put in here a label and it is just click on these here and you can change or add labels. And if I wanted to create one, I would just simply type that in and it will, I could just create that if I wanted to, I'm not going to. So I've also color coded them. So yellow are my personal shopping lists of stores that I shop to. This is Costco. I just want it to be a different color, green for garden. Pink is just kind of personal items. And then I also did travel checklist. You can see here there is, you can hide the items that you've checked off, but this is my travel checklist for personal. And you can add these if you have a trip that's coming up. And I just added this fun little background. You can add your own. They're just right here. You just check those off. And I did this for Christmas. So as I think of gifts and ideas that I want to buy family members, I can jot them down in here. And so I've color coded them and something that I put in here. And I also share is just house renovations, like things that we want to do around our house. I may have ideas trim color paint. It's when I'm at the paint store, I can just come in here and I can see what colors we've painted the exterior and the interior of our house. So you can do notes and I'll just show you how we collab and I delegate. Literally, I rarely go to the grocery store anymore because my husband has taken that over. You would just click on collab and it will show you can type in their email address. One of the requirements with a Google Keep account is you do need a Gmail account. I've set these up with a lot of my clients that I work with and I want to get them and their family members or if they have a housekeeper or a nanny, someone that does their grocery shopping or you want them to add items to the list. If you do the grocery shopping, but you're not quite sure what cleaning supplies or food or toilet, but paper towel, garbage bags, batteries. You just simply add them as a collaborator. And if it's, you want to be the owner of it, I highly recommend that you create the note and then add those that you want to collab on that particular note. So because I've collaborated when my husband is at the hardware store, 
he can simply look at our Home Depot list. We have model of our fridge and he can see on the list that I need some green pictures tape, some moving boxes, and these aren't time sensitive. And a lot of times I don't need to go or if I'm at Home Depot, I can just quickly look at the list and see what he needs. Same with if we're at a drugstore or one of our other or pop into Costco. It's really handy to just see that, oh, I need some vitamin C that's on my list. And it just simplifies my life in so many ways. This is the only app we've tested and used a lot of the apps over the years. This one we've been using consistently for many years and it's so simple and easy to use. I use it on all of my mobile devices 99% of the time. So it's really quick and easy to add when I'm cooking during the week or I'm running out of my yogurt or I know that we're getting low on brown rice or whatever it is. I simply can just grab my phone, it's always close by, and just add the item that I want to be added to the grocery list. So it's super handy and simple and easy to do. To create a new note, you just click here and you can type title in here. If you want to just have a short little to-do list. And here you can add notes or you can choose to add check boxes and then you can just type what it is that you need to do. And always remember when you're doing a to-do list, it starts with a verb by vitamin D or you don't need you could just simply type in vitamin D if you want or if you're wanting to buy kale you can see how easy it is okay nix that little part I'm gonna redo that how you would create a note is you would just click on here and in the title you would just type here and you can say to-do list and then take a note and this is where you would add Click on these three little dots here and you would just add the check boxes and then you can start typing your list if you want to add a color you can add a color and you're good to go now you can see how this is going to save you time and it's just going to get all those reminders out of your head and into a safe place and it literally is at your fingertips when you need it let me know in the comments below what checklist or grocery shopping list you're going to create in your google keep app thank you for watching and make sure to give this video a thumbs up to subscribe if you can help me share that would be great as well i look forward to seeing you in the next video mm -hmm.